With thousands of program choices, how do you manage all this information? The answer is as easy as your remote control. Welcome to TV Guide Interactive, the complete program guide for digital cable television. For the next few minutes, we'll take a look at how you use TV Guide Interactive to access program information, set reminders, and control special features simply by pushing buttons on your remote control. Let's get started. This is the remote control we'll use for this demonstration. Your remote may look a little different, but they all perform the same functions. To get started, you simply turn on your television the way you normally do. Now to change the channel, you press the channel button, either up or down. Each time you change channels, the TV Guide interactive flip bar appears. The flip bar tells you what channel you're on, the name of the program you're watching, when it started, and when it's over. The flip bar disappears after five seconds. The flip bar appears even if there's a commercial on, so you will still know what program is on that channel. You can make the flip bar appear or disappear anytime you want by pressing the OK button. Now when you press the arrow keys, rather than the channel up and down key, you bring up a bar that says Browse. Browse allows you to see what's on other channels and what's on later without leaving the show you're watching. For example, you can watch ER, press the up arrow, and see what's on other channels. If you see something you want to watch, press OK, and the channel changes to that program. When you press the right arrow, Browse lets you see what's on later in the day, again without leaving what you're currently watching. You move ahead a half hour at a time. If you see something you like, for example Lassie, press the OK button. Your choice, Lassie, doesn't come on until 2 o'clock, but you can set a reminder for the program so you're sure not to miss it. To do this, simply highlight Yes, then press OK. This check mark indicates that you have set a reminder for Lassie, and a few minutes before that program starts, no matter what you are watching, a reminder will come up on screen. To get out of Browse, or any of the menus, you simply press the Exit button. Now if you press the Menu button, you access the Navigator. The Navigator is your main menu. The screen is divided into three basic sections. Let's start over here with the left-hand column. The TV Guide listing screens offer six different ways to find out what's on TV, starting with By Time. You highlight By Time, you press the OK button, and you see a menu with all the programs for the current half-hour time slot. The TV Guide interactive listings menus work by highlighting a program and pressing OK. So you pick a program, for example, Law & Order, press OK, and you're tuned to Law & Order. To get back to the By Time menu, you simply press the Guide button. The By Time menu also lets you see what's on later. To do this, you press the right arrow, and now you go ahead in time to see what's on all your channels later in the day. You can highlight a program, for example, Harmful Intent, that starts at 7 o'clock. If you don't want to miss that, you press OK, and you're invited to set a reminder. Let's just say no. All of the TV Guide listing screens work the same way. You highlight a program, press OK, and one of three things is going to happen. First, you can tune to the program if it's on. Second, you can set a reminder if it comes on later. And third, you'll be invited to purchase it if it's a program that can be purchased. Going back to the navigator, you come down to Buy Channel. With the Buy Channel menu, you've got all the times down the left-hand column and the current channel at the top. This lets you see what's on the current channel throughout the day. To see other channels, you simply press the right or left arrow button. You have the same options you had in the Buy Time menu. And in all of the TV Guide menus, the programs are color-coded. Red for movies, green for sports, and blue for all other programs. Next, you've got the three most popular program categories, movies, sports, and children. Let's take a quick look at each of these, starting with movies. Notice the little eye icon on the right-hand side of the listings. This means you have additional information available for this program. So you come down here and highlight Outbreak. And you press the Info button. You get a quick description of Outbreak, including plot line, actors, the year it was made, and the current rating. To remove this screen, just press Info again and it returns you to the movie listings. In the mood for sports? Just highlight sports from the navigator, then press OK. TV Guide Interactive will quickly show you all the sports programs available at a glance. 
When the kids get home from school, the children's menu will help them find programs just for them. Last on this column is the program search feature. Let's say you want to watch biography and have no idea what time or what channel it's on. The search feature can help. You press the down arrow to arrive at the letter B. Then you press the right arrow and you access the B's. You don't see biography, so you enter the I and the O, and there it is. Just press OK. Now that you've found the program, you've got the same three choices you have in the other menus. Ordering a pay-per-view program is now easier than ever with TV Guide Interactive. Here you've got two different ways to see what's on pay-per-view. One organized by start time, one organized by title. Let's go into pay-per-view by title. You come down and pick a program. Let's say you want to watch The Truman Show. You highlight The Truman Show, press OK, and your next step is to select the start time. Now you highlight Confirm, and that's it. You've just purchased a pay-per-view movie without picking up the phone. TV Guide Interactive will automatically set a reminder for pay-per-view programs you order. Now, if you don't watch this program, the first thing you'll see when you turn on your TV is a program missed notice. It says you will not be charged for the program and you are invited to reschedule a viewing. Now, going back to the navigator, Special Events is a list of pay-per-view programs you might find of special interest, such as boxing, concerts, and wrestling. You order these programs the same way you order a pay-per-view movie. Back to the navigator again, this is your digital music menu. It has a list of all the available music formats. To listen to a digital music channel, you simply highlight it, then press OK. For example, you select Alternative Rock and press OK. Notice that the flip bar includes the music category and the title of the current song. To see more information about this song, just press the Info button, and the Song Information screen appears. This screen will appear automatically at the beginning of every new song and disappear after 10 seconds. If you want it to go away sooner, just press Exit. And going back to the Navigator, we'll finish up with Viewer Services. Let's start with the Message Center. This is where you retrieve messages that have been sent to you from your cable company or from TV Guide. You know you have a message when you see a little yellow envelope on screen or when a red light appears on the front of the cable box. To read a message, first go into the Message Center, then highlight the message and press OK. Now you have a choice to keep or delete the message. Let's keep it. Here's a look at Favorites. You highlight Favorites, then press the OK button. The Favorites feature lets you set up a list of your favorite channels. To do this, just highlight the channel, then press the Fave button. The channel turns blue, indicating it is now a favorite channel. You can do this to as many channels as you like. Then while watching TV, simply press the Fave button to tune to just your favorites. Parental control is one of the most valuable features for families. It helps parents restrict programs. First, select it from the navigator, then press OK. You will have to enter your secret four-digit code to get into the parental control menu. There are four ways you can restrict the viewing of programming. First, you can set a lock on an entire channel. You highlight the channel and press OK. The padlock appears, indicating that the channel is now locked out. Next, you can set locks on either TV rating or on movie ratings. Here's how you put a lock on everything rated R. And finally, to lock out a program title, simply press the lock key, either while watching a program or while highlighting a program in the listings menu. After entering your four-digit code, you will see the various ways you can restrict that program, including its title. Just highlight the title and press OK. To watch a program that is restricted, just enter the four-digit code. Finally, TV Guide Interactive has several setup features. The flip and browse bars you saw at the beginning can be placed at the top of the screen instead of the bottom. You can also turn the flip bar off if you don't want it to appear every time you change channels. The message envelope at the top of the screen can be turned off completely. And you can adjust when you want the reminder notice to appear, in one minute intervals up to 15 minutes. Go to Parental Controls, and this is where you set your viewing lockout codes and purchase codes. The purchase codes keep the kids from buying things without talking to you about it first. 
As you can see, you also have several setup choices for your set-top box, your audio output, and your video screen. TV Guide Interactive is here to put you in control of your TV, and we hope that this review has helped you more clearly understand how to access program information, set reminders, and control special features. For more detailed information on using TV Guide Interactive, refer to your reference guide. We hope you enjoy using TV Guide Interactive, the complete program guide for cable television that puts you in control.